In the early 1950s, skills are urgently required within the Val Triangle for the expanding industries of Sasselberg, Van der Beel Park and Vereniging. And on the 22nd of September 1967, the Val Triangle College for Advanced Technical Education is inaugurated to provide them. Its chemistry and physics, electrical engineering and mechanical engineering departments equip white students to work in the engineering and chemical industries. In 1971, Dr. Isaac Stale is appointed director and focuses on shaping a new ethos and new growth for the institution. By 1975, student numbers doubled. In 1979, the college becomes the Val Triangle Technicon. New hostels housing 280 students are opened in 1981 and 1982. Nineteen eighty six becomes a landmark year when black students are admitted to the Technicon for the first time. In nineteen ninety one, Dr. Steele retires, and the impressive new stadium is named after him. With massive social and political change gaining momentum in South Africa. In nineteen ninety four, True transformation begins at the Val Technicon. One of the biggest challenges, of course, is when we cease to be a all-white tertiary education institution, which not only changed the internal culture, but also changed and put a huge amount of stress on the infrastructure because the numbers ballooned up into, into their thousands. Running battles are fought over the integration of the hostel. But an address by Chancellor Tokyo Sehwali helps calm the campus. In my class, we were only three black students. Some of the um, uh, departments had only one black student, and you will have uh, 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 white students all, all, all across. And engineering was even worse. But I think it was sort of a learning curve for all cultural groups during that specific time. The institution owes more of its debt to Professor Grovier. There was one African professor who had to come in because um, the institution couldn't handle the pressure and the demands that we were putting forth. When he came in, the leadership began to, you know, uh, to balance and we began a process of doing things without fights per se. I believe honestly that when you have got problems, there's only one solution to that and that is to talk, talk, as a white person, when he was appointed to transform the institution, he made sure that he appoint a black secretary because he needed somebody in that office who will understand the black culture. So I was the first black secretary in 1994. Community outreach through the Bureau for Community Services becomes a feature of the Technicon, while the Sports Bureau fosters its sporting achievements. A new academic framework of four faculties headed by deans is established in 1996 and the library is fully computerized. Constant change, constant adjustment, constant creation of new systems, new processes, new qualifications, new ways of examining people, that was a very important jump forward. In 1996, Professor Obrimogadi is appointed the first black vice chancellor and rector. Today, the Technicon unveiled its transformation charter and a student bill of rights. What was a mark in the institution's history was when we converted from a total Afrikaans speaking institution 
into an English uh, medium institution. And I think at this stage we are one of the most transformed universities in South Africa. In 1999, a new language policy confirms English as the Technicon's official language. In 2002, the institution confers its first ever honorary doctorate on Archbishop Desmond Tutu. In 2004, the Technicon becomes the Val University of Technology. VUT committed more than ever to equality, academic excellence and progressive thinking. Professor Irene Moutlana is appointed VUT's first female Vice-Chancellor and Principal in 2007, initiating a new strategy, vision and mission. We've got more than 100 million rands worth of equipment here. Um, and just having access to that sort of technology really opened up what we're capable of doing. We've developed an entire factory of 11 industrial 3D printers. We are currently the largest uh, additive manufacturing factory in South Africa. Upliftment for its local communities becomes a central pillar of VUT's commitment to provide skills and opportunity. The inauguration of its sixth vice-chancellor and principal, Professor Gordon Dodomzi Zide, takes place on 12 August 2017. To me, VUT means excellence and it means growing into the fourth industrial revolution. And as it enters its second 50 years, VUT is focused on its role as a leading educational, research and community-based institution and on realizing its promise of being your world to a better future.